Yes, creating a live webinar can be super scary. Not only just scary to actually present, but it's really scary on the tech side. How on earth do you even set up a live webinar? And how do you make sure that when people don't show up, that they get all kinds of errors and issues and they can't even see your content? In this video, I wanna break down everything you need to know, tech included, to host your very first, or just your next, live webinar. I'm Kathy Olson of Funnel Gorgeous. New hair, who dis? And let's dive in to getting you that webinar. I'm gonna talk about some different tools you're gonna need and kind of a comparison of the tools and when you would choose one or the other and also what's our favorite, right? First thing you need is you're gonna need slides, very similar to what you're looking at right now, which is a slide deck. There's a couple different programs you can use Canva. We love Canva. It's an online web-based program. It's They have a free version and a pro version, but the pro version is pretty awesome as well. You would, don't need to hesitate to upgrade on that. Google Slides is what we actually use. We love Google Slides. It's very, very versatile. You can load it on any machine. You know, you can share it with anyone. There's tons of cool tools inside of Google Slides. It's just so accessible and it's completely free. We love that. And we also sell slide deck templates that are in Google Slides as well for that, those exact same reasons we love them. And you can also have vector graphics, which not a lot of people know. And in our slide deck templates, we have vector graphics that you can just literally change out the colors right there. You don't have to leave, go to Photoshop or any of that stuff. Huge fan of Google Slides. And of course there's the transitions like that you're seeing now. There's also PowerPoint, which is a Windows program as well. It's pretty much a gold standard, you know, for any Windows machine that you can use those as well. You might have some issues if you pull up a PowerPoint on someone else's computer or someone else's laptop, but it's probably not gonna be an issue issue for a webinar, but if you are having someone else like run the slides for you, it can be an issue. Got to make sure that you have all that set. Same thing with Keynote, which is the Mac version of that. They're both very powerful. They have a little bit of a, you know, learning curve, not too, not too bad. I you could say the same thing for Google Slides, but Google Slides is pretty, pretty darn simple to use. Those are kind of our recommendations. So some resources for those. I have two different resources for you regarding to slides. If you want additional help on that, funnelgorgeous.com is where we sell the templates for the Google Slides. So if you're looking for slide templates and you want the all pre-designed for you in those vector formats and stuff as well. A lot of them are vector and they're not all vector, but most of them are. All the new ones are. You'll want to go that way. And also Webinar Gorgeous, we teach actual like how to create the slides, how to write the slides. So it's a whole course. If you already know how to do a webinar presentation, then you, you, you can skip it. But if you want to know how to actually sell via slides, via the presentation, Webinar Gorgeous will like totally set you in how to actually like what to put Put on each slide. <laughs> so it's not necessarily the templates, but it's more about the sales and the like how to present in order to have someone by the time you're ending your presentation that they will buy. So that's kind of the idea with Webinar Gorgeous. Next thing you'll need is some sort of traffic source. So you need someone pointing or telling someone about your live webinar, right? Like you need a traffic source that's pointing for people to sign up. So obviously the first thing you can do is organic social. This would be posts on Facebook, on Instagram, on IGTV, any of the social media platforms telling people that you're going to have a live webinar. Really any organic social works except for YouTube, probably not the best because it's not like really real time. People are watching videos way after the fact. So unless you have like a evergreen webinar, but if you're having a live webinar, pretty much anything else, even TikTok, you know, those guys, they're like really like live in real time and people will see them before the actual webinar comes up. If you wait too long and they see the content later, they will be upset or maybe, maybe not. Maybe they'll, they'll, they can catch the replay play, but if it's an open and closed cart, you know, you want to make sure that's really clear on getting them signed up ahead of time. So those are the things you really have to think about as far as organic social is just making sure that it gets in front of people in a timely manner and that they don't see it after the fact when it's already over. And that's like the harder part because with the algorithms, you know, they kind of show them whatever they feel like it might be like three days later, people might see the post. So you just want to keep that in mind. That's not quite as accurate as, as for when they see it. But if you're going to have it in an IG story, or, you know, or TikTok or something that's the, that you know that they're going to see like at that time or that's going to expire. It might be just something that you want to think about when they are actually going to see that content. And then of course there's paid ads. This is our favorite version of live webinar traffic source, mostly because we can control exactly when people see it. There's an, a window that's open and closed. It starts showing people at this day. It stops showing on this day. It's very easy to control. You know, you have your ad budget so you can really like dial it up. The more people you want to see it, all that good 
good stuff. So you can like really like choose your audience here and you can choose your audience based on the purchase price. You can say, okay, if I'm gonna be selling something for $100, I'm willing to spend up to $30 to get one person to go on the webinar or whatever or whatever that is. So you wanna be thinking there's a way that you can kind of crunch numbers to say, okay, I want this many people to see it at this percent of percentage of a buy rate. So it's, you can just really like fine tune it more than you can with organic where you don't have much of a choice on who it's shown to. JV partners is another option. So JV stands for joint venture, which means that you just partner with someone else to do your live webinar to someone else's audience. So for example, if I'm selling, you know, funnel building services and there's like a business coach and I know that a lot of people that they work with would love to hire me for my funnel building services, then I might, you know, hook up with them doing a JV partnership and saying, hey, you'll get 50% of the sales I make. Just pitch this to your audience. Come and hang out with us. Maybe answer, help me answer some questions about how this would be a good fit for your audience. And then whatever sales we make together, I will give you a percentage of. So that's another way to get a traffic source. And then affiliates, it's just a smaller version of a JV partnership where people are just actually getting a lower percentage. It's not like a JV where they're coming to the webinar. They're just kind of telling people about it more passively and saying, hey, there's this really cool thing you should check out. And they usually get a lower percentage on those. And that could be like kind of ongoing too. So some easy resources for you guys on this is funnelgorgeous.com because we have templates for ads and we also have templates for organic social. Whether you want to tell people about your webinar through organic posts and you want to say, hey, this is coming up. Or if you want to tell people through ads, we have both of those for sale on funnelgorgeous.com. We have the templates, the design templates for you to use. Those are in Photoshop and Illustrator and also Canva. And then Ad Gorgeous is an actual course we have that teaches you how to create all kinds of different creative for your paid ads. So it's really more about the idea behind the ad. So it's saying, okay, I have an idea for an ad. Or how do I even come up with an idea for an ad? You build a whole bank of tons and tons and tons of ideas for different cool ad creatives. So that's what Ad Gorgeous will help you do. It's also a course. So those are some resources for you. So then the next thing you'll need is the sign up page. So the sign up page is what they actually land on, whether they're coming from social media or they're coming from a paid ad or they're coming from an email, whoever told them, whatever traffic source, this is where the traffic source points them to. So that's the sign up page. So they see, okay, this is what is happening. This is when it's happening. And here's where I put in my name and email address. I'm registering to show up at this live webinar. Whether they show up live or not, <laughs> that remains to be seen, but they're at least saying, yes, I'm in. I want to come to this. So remember, Remember that the sign up page is going to actually hook into your email marketing system. After they sign up, you have to have some way to get a hold of them later on. And so normally this would be some kind of an opt-in page that would send them to save as part of a list of people who are interested in coming to the live webinar. And you would also want to send some kind of a confirmation email after they have this. So this could be just one page hooked up to your email and then sending out an email, or it could be even just like an actual page. It doesn't have to necessarily be an email. It could be just a thank you page. Thanks for registering. Here's the details. Make sure you save it in your calendar, that kind of stuff. So that's like how this, this page would function. So this could be as simple as an email list and not even having a page. You could send out an email and say, hey guys, sign up for this, register for this. You have all the information in the email, they click a link and it automatically puts them in a new list, which would say this is the interest list. That would be the simplest way to do it. Not necessarily the most sophisticated, but it is what it is. A lot of people do it that way too. The way that we do it, the way that we recommend is FG Funnels. It's a funnel building platform where this takes on a bigger life from now on and kind of everything can kind of be inside of FG Funnels. You can actually host your page on FG Funnels. You can use your domain name. If you have a domain name, you can have it all there. So the whole sign up page and the email would kind of hook up there. Or you can use any of the other funnel builders, Kartra, Kajabi, ClickFunnels, any of those guys. Or you could just use a Facebook group. So sometimes people have a sign up to just go straight to a Facebook group. And that Facebook group is sort of the container for the entire webinar. So we'll talk about that in just a second when I talk about broadcast. But it could be that they basically register for the webinar by joining the Facebook group. And then the webinar happens in the Facebook group. So you could use it that way. It's kind of a little bit of a workaround, not necessarily the cleanest way because you don't totally have access to their email addresses at all times. So that's kind of one thing you have to be thinking about when it comes to having a Facebook group. Not the cleanest way, but it is a way and people 
do it all the time. So the resources here would be fgfunnels.com. <laughs> this is where you can have your sign up page. Super easy to implement. We also have templates for this. So you can just pick a template that you like and use that template as your sign up page. We have whole webinar funnels like already ready to go, even with like the tech and stuff, everything already set up. So it's super awesome. So go to fgfunnels.com for that. The next thing you want to think about is your broadcasting. So broadcasting is what you do day of. Where you go live, how do you go live, all that kind of stuff. So those are the things that you won't be wanting to think about. Obviously your timing, a lot of people ask me about like timing. When do I do it? What day? That's going to totally depend on your audience and it's probably going to take some testing. So you might want to do, you know, a few different live webinars to see show up rates and test the things out. So that's not, it's not the same for everyone. And obviously like you have to know what time zones people are in and stuff like that as well. Do they have day jobs? Those kind of things. So I can't really give you an advice on that because it's going to be dependent on your audience, but I can tell you how to go live and where you do go live. So a lot of people use Zoom. Obviously, like we are used to Zoom now. It's like a household name. It's turned into like a verb, basically, you know, Zooming with someone. So you can use Zoom. It's not like always the best, best solution, but it is a solution that you definitely can use. One way that we prefer that we would say that was probably the easiest and provides you the most value bang for your buck is YouTube Live and FG Funnels. The two of them together, you can use these in concert. Basically, you have, you can schedule that YouTube Live within YouTube and you embed the YouTube link onto your FGF broadcast page page, which is like already set up. It already has the sales information in there. You can even have a chat in there, like all that kind of stuff. So the actual broadcast page lives on FG Funnels, but the streaming part comes from YouTube Live, which is totally free. And I'll show you with the replay why this is a really cool setup. It's basically the most hands-off way and also the cheapest because you don't have to pay for like an extra software. And then there also is Facebook Live. So if you're going to use the Facebook group kind of route where you're doing the whole thing onto your Facebook group, you can use just a simple simple Facebook Live inside of your Facebook group, your private Facebook group that people have already pre-joined and you just use your Facebook Live there. And then of course you can also use a paid webinar service. This we don't recommend until you're kind of like up there or you have like really advanced needs for your webinar because it's very expensive. It's very tech heavy. Most people just don't even need that. It's only really needed when you need a lot of statistics and you're like really fine tuning and tweaking and it's just very high level. And so we don't recommend people to start there because it's a lot, it's very overkill and you'll waste a lot of money if you start with that. So we don't usually say to start with that. So easy resources for you here would be fgfunnels.com. Of course, like I said, we have the webinar templates. We have the broadcast rooms already ready to go, totally set up for you. You just have to put in your YouTube link from there. And then the next thing is the sales pages. So this is when they have actually watched the webinar when they're done watching the webinar and then they're interested, they click the button to buy, depending on whether you're on zoom, you're not going to have a button to buy, you're gonna have to give them a link. If you're on FGF, they will have an actual button that'll take them right to the page. If you're on a Facebook Live, it's also gonna have to be a link and then paid webinar service will also have to be a link as well. So this is the next step is that order form. This is where you are gonna send them so they can actually purchase after you're done with the training. So you wanna obviously collect all their information. You wanna actually charge their card, probably give them access to the training, like maybe right away, or maybe it's access to, to whatever the next step is, if it's like a live course or something that hasn't been created yet. So this is going to effectively work as their checkout and maybe even sell them a little bit more in case like if, if it's a really high end product and you still need to like remind them what's included, you might have actually some information on it there as well. So there's definitely some different ways you can do this. WordPress, the upside of WordPress is it's free. Downside is it's very techy, a little bit harder to set up. And you also have to have like a third party that does a lot of the other things. So you have to have a third party payment gateway and you have to have a way to sort of bring like an almost like an e-commerce into because WordPress is really just like a blog platform, right? So you got to bring in an extra plug in there. And then you also, if you want to do any upsells or like adding on anything to their order or something like that, or just like more fine tuning, that's going to require another plugin for that. So it's a lot more tech setup because you have to really build it yourself, but it is good for if you, if you're really like know your way around websites and HTML, and CSS and stuff, totally an option. You might have to have paid upgrades though. If you're going to be using some kind of upselling software or like a cart software, you might have 
have to pay for that. So it's not necessarily free. Next one is FG Funnels, which obviously is what we use. This is all integrated. There's a big difference here with all of these things. If you're thinking about, okay, the email part where they sign up plus the broadcast, then selling it to them and actually having them check out and then actually giving them the content, right? So like there's a whole membership site on FG Funnels. So literally every single thing you need is on FG Funnels, which is why it's so awesome. Like every single step, <laughs> except for the slides, that's, that would be the only thing that which you can purchase those through. As I, as I talked about before, you can have Kartra, Kajabi or ClickFunnels as your sales page. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles just depending on what you're using. They have some of the same things, but they don't actually have our designs as well either. So when you get FG Funnels, you get the webinar funnel for free and it's already all set up for you. So you don't have to do any of that setup. Easy resource here would be FG Funnels because it would totally help you out with all of the sales page, actually taking them to the checkout, buying, but also getting their information, sending them the content, getting that all going and stuff from there as well. So next is the email tool. You have to connect all of this to your email so that you can remind them. You can send them a confirmation saying, hey, cool. We love that you signed up. Don't forget to mark your calendars. And also like you want to remind them again to come when it starts. Like, hey, we're starting in 10 minutes. We're starting in five minutes, starting in 30 minutes. You're going to want to remind them then. And then of course you can have follow up. So if they don't purchase and they watch, then you can follow up with them and say, hey, you know, like, did you have any questions? Here's some FAQs. Maybe you're not sure here, that kind of stuff. So the first thing that you could do is Gmail. I don't know that I'd necessarily recommend this, but <laughs> it's a, kind of a hard and painful way to do it. But you could, if you, especially if you have a low registration rate of just like maybe a hundred people, you could totally just email them and just say, Hey, it's coming up or, or have, have your reminders there. You can also get flagged for spam. So you want to be careful with that, but that is the simplest. And then FG Funnels is obviously the one that we recommend. It's amazing because instead of working like a newsletter, it works more like your actual Gmail where so the deliverability rates are much higher when you work through SMTP server and this can hook up through G Suite or using Mailgun or some kind of email send grid something like that like using the email systems you can use FG funnels with third parties like active campaign and convert kit and stuff like that if you already had that but we do recommend for the best results to have the built-in email and then of course you can just use these directly convert kit active campaign Mailchimp all of which have different prices based based on how many subscribers you have. So it can get pretty high up there in cost if you start to get, you know, the tens of thousands range. And that's just for email, obviously, just the email tool, but you can use the email tool. It's inside of FG Funnels. And so obviously the easy resource here would be FG Funnels, which is, you know, the emails all included in there. It's all hooked up with your integrations, with your, you know, sales page, with your broadcast room, with all of the things, everything's all hooked up. Next, we wanna cover the replay page. So the replay page is what happens when life happens. <laughs> and they missed your live webinar, but they really wanted to see it. Or maybe it was at a time that they were asleep or something, you know, like their time zone was off or whatever reason. They really, really just missed it and they, but they really wanted to come. You always want to have a replay page in most instances. Some people don't, but for the majority, if you don't want to make people super mad at you, you'll want to have a replay page. And in that case, there's a few things you can do. Some are a little bit harder than others as far as just kind of getting it out there. The most simple version you could do is just upload it to YouTube. YouTube and then send out the YouTube link. So, or you could do Vimeo or something like that. But usually people use YouTube because they already have a YouTube channel or something like that. So you could just literally upload it and then just send out that link, which you don't have a lot of control over. Or you could do the same exact same thing that you did YouTube live, the thing you did in your broadcast room. Once you're done with your live webinar, the broadcast room becomes your replay page automatically. So it's really awesome that it's totally done. So you can totally do this in FG funnels where you have your broadcast, you do your broadcast. As soon as it's done, that YouTube live turns into a YouTube video. So now your YouTube live is a YouTube video, but it's already on the page with the buy button and all the information they need. Really, like if you set it up the right way within FG funnels, you don't have to do anything. The same page that they went to live becomes the on-demand version, which is the replay. Super duper easy. You don't even have to touch it. It's amazing. <laughs> so another way you could do it is through the Facebook group. So if you were to do go the Facebook group route, you were to do a Facebook book live very similarly once you're done with it it just turns into a video that they can watch whenever so the easy resources obviously would be using fg funnels where their whole broadcast 
template is already in there. You just would hook it up to your YouTube Live and then you don't have to do anything after that. I hope you feel ready to take on your next live webinar. Would you guys like us to show you how to do an automated webinar so that you don't actually have to show up live? If that's something you'd be interested in, make sure to comment below and we will record that video for you. Until then, make sure you subscribe and like and share it out to your friends and we'll see you on the next one.